How you doing everyone? My name is Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV. We're here at TSMC OIP Forum 2014 in San Jose, California. Uh, my guest today is Mahesh Tiraputar. Uh, and with Analog Bits, Analog uh, Bits provides low power integrated clocking and interconnect IP. Indeed. Just, just to name a few. Just name a few. Yeah, yeah. And also There's more to go. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the executive uh, VP of Analog Bits responsible for business partnerships, mm -hmm. IP licensing, and joint venture development. When do you find time for, for anything else? Ah, oh, life is too short. You don't want to sleep. This yeah. job keeps me up all the time. Well, you're doing, you're doing so well. I, I found this. Oh, you did? Partner oh. of the Year. Analog Bits and Mahesh, congratulations. Thank you. All it goes uh, to the team. Yes. Uh, All the hard work. And obviously, the TSMC's award is very prestigious for us. It's endorsed us uh, enormously yeah. in terms of our presence with them and all our success that we've had so well, far. Congratulations. Thanks, Sean. Very, very nice. You want to just hold on? I'll, I'll leave oh. it down. I'll, uh, okay. I don't want to break it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, you know, you, we, we talked uh, earlier about um, this new era of, uh, of uh, FinFETs, mm -hmm. fin, 16 uh, nanometer FinFET and plus, mm -hmm. and the challenges and the opportunities uh, surrounding mixed signal IPs. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about that? Sure, sure. Obviously, FinFET is in the bleeding edge of process technology, though 10 is coming up very shortly. Uh, from an analog mix signal point of view, the design challenges are quite challenging. It's, it's almost daunting. Um, the effort to design any mix signal IP uh, is complex. It's pretty much dependent heavily on layout topology. And the second biggest thing is these mix signal design blocks are clocking very fast, which means they have to be powered adequately as well. So as as the technology is shrinking. Mm -hmm. uh, there's technical challenges in terms of metalization, the wire is shrinking in both X and Y dimension, therefore feeding power to these chips is pretty critical. So even when we do block design, we have to be taking electromigration, IR drop into consideration and then drawing the layouts which will fit under these power grids and then eventually come up with a schematic. So the design process is very complex, it's probably at least 5 to 8x more complex than 28 nanometer, yeah. uh, but no guts, no glory, so we are in it. Uh, we've been at it for almost uh, a year and a half now, and we've got successful work in silicon. I think this morning TSMC put out these slides where they showed our working results. Mm -hmm. uh, the silicon parts came back so quickly that uh, we pretty much blind packaged them and tested each one of the parts. Yeah. All of them passed yeah. all the functional partners. So let's talk a little bit about the IoT market. This is uh, a conversation uh, that will be continuing this new IoT revolution. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Internet of Things, mm -hmm. Cisco calls it Internet of Everything. Uh -huh. Billions of devices will be connected in uh, 2020. And, um, so how important, because what we're talking about is sensor technologies, all of this different kinds of, of interconnect, mm -hmm. and uh, talking about healthcare, infrastructure, the environment, mm -hmm. wearables, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, human machine, human yes, yes, MEMS yes, yes. technology, yeah, yeah, homes yeah. And, and, and and businesses. Yeah. So how important is a low power mixing? Yep. IP. It is. Uh, it is certainly a very important thing. Uh, analog bits has already been playing in the IoT space actively, even before the market really got into fruition and they started labeling this as IoT. From the beginning offset of the company, we've been, been designing low power mixed signal macros and therefore the natural audience is for consumer devices which care about power. Right. Uh, now the whole evolution has, has changed the landscape quite a bit uh, because gone are the days when the IoT guys are using an N-4 technology. The IoT clients are actually using a modern process technology like 40, 28 and going into 16 and they need high speed serial data in it because all these devices are talking to each other mm -hmm. and they're talking to the cloud and they got to reduce the latency which
which means high-speed communication has to be a facilitator. Now, the big paradigm change in IoT is unlike a smartphone chip or a big processor chip, the die size is extremely small. It's a very tiny chiplet almost, and and inside that you got to pack it with low power, high performance mixed signal macros. Uh, since we got the heritage of, of working in that area, that's clearly where we've gone. And we are seeing our designs going into products like wearables. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually demonstrating one in our booth. Right. Uh, but clearly there is a market that's low power is, is going to pave way. Uh, we're kind of transitioning from a mobile-based design to IoT slash wearable based design, and the design considerations are enormously different. And that's where we're pretty excited about it. Great segue into the, my next question about analog bits, low power interconnects in wearables, but also the future of uh, weavables mm -hmm. market. Tell me a little bit about weavables. All right, market. since uh, weavables is really pretty exciting. Um, I know I'm getting excited just to even talk Whoa. about it. Um, wearables is taking us to a market where people can wear something comfortably and roam around. Mm -hmm. But imagine a point where the wearable technology is integrated into textiles and you have a piece of wire which is running between your cloth in your clothing and then it's connected to a gadget. Fashion, so the fashion, fashion industry, industry is yeah. really going in there. So since we all like football and we all like rock bands, imagine going into you know uh, watching a concert and they give you a pair of glasses mm -hmm. and you can just wear these glasses and sit next to a drummer because you have a 3d experience or you can stand next to the guitarist right. um, so that whole wearable weavable market is actually in the cusp of reality uh, and the re and this reason is as much as a sex appeal of the market it's really the silicon technology behind it that's making it possible mm -hmm. and uh, and there is there is clearly we don't take kudos for that but there's a lot of good work that our industry does that has enabled that market so this market is actually going to evolve and we see that going into the fashion industry going into more the end user and consumer products uh, that's that's right perfect excellent once again thank you very much for joining My us pleasure. and congratulations on the award partner of the year thank you um, and for uh, Mahesh to reporter my name is Sean O'Kane we'll see you next time on chip estimate TV. great Looking forward to a chat. All right, man. Thanks again.